Okay, it's Monday, Thanksgiving week, so we only met once this week. Man, must be what, like week fo 14? Actually, that was, um, yeah, it'd be week 14. And it's day 25, not that those make a big difference. So we're talking about net 200. So we did a lot of review, OSI model, talked about IP addressing and subnetting, talked a little bit about the transport layer and TCP application layer. The key is here we're going to have a unit test over those chapters. And, um, That would be um, chapter 7 through 10. Alright, so I'm not going to belabor it, but we went through again, we talked about the physical layer, what standards send information, how the information moves through the wire, through uh, fiber, and through the air. How do we represent? In this case, how do we represent the bits? That's the physical layer. Data link, we talked about Ethernet, Wi-Fi. That connection, you know, from like, yeah, we'll talk about it here in a little bit, but these two layers are really how do we, how do we connect in, you know, how do we get our device connected in? Network layer, talk about IP and path. And then we uh, specifically talked a little bit about IP4 and IP6. And we went through and we talked about how do we manage both. Well, we can go dual stack. We can tunnel one inside the other. Or we can translate one to the other. Okay, tunneling you can take if you have um, an IP4 network that needs to run through an IP6 network. You can take the IP4 packet and encapsulate it inside IP6, run it through the IP6 network, and then decaps you know unencapsulate it on the other end. You can run them both at the same time. We're talking about dual stack or you can translate, probably the least likely to do, one into the other address. Transport layer, <clears throat> we talked about TCP, UDP. And we talked about those differences. Um, TCP, we talked a little bit about the windowing. You know, you have to have sync, you have to sync both ends is a number and, and, uh, and then the windows how much data you can send before getting an acknowledgement okay more resources required okay but it's guaranteed delivery UDP is not guaranteed delivery less resources but works well for things like streaming or in cases where uh, you know your network's really good and not likely you're going to have in years and so forth. And then we talked about the session, presentation, application layers. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> our next step, these ideas, and tie them together here. So our top three And we listed here not everything, but some protocols that fit in this TCP. I should make that clear here. We're talking about TCP, IP, model, and we have the application layer. We have hypertext transfer protocol. We have all these mail protocols. We have file transfer domain name, and obtaining an IP address, DHCP. The transport layer is still the transport layer. 
network layer is the internet layer and then like we talked about before you can take these two and they're about network access how do we get into the network then we have which path and how are we going to transport the data <clears throat> I did I wrote this address on the board and I asked them is it uh, global or public is it internal or private uh, this address here public address. And then we did some work on that. I want to know is it a network or is it an address for an interface? Well it's a network address. We um, drew it out here. Converted that to binary. We got those two bits and so it's a network address because it's a slash 26. Then we asked, what's the broadcast for that address? Figured that out. And then I asked them to give us another ad another network, so they gave us the zero network. And we have this broadcast. I actually had it up there wrong at first. The students correct me. And then we have, here's another network. So you should be able to take an address and determine all those things. Up here we did some examples of NIAC connected into the internet and uh, I talked about encapsulation of VPN. You know, we can, in fact, we did even a little bit of this, you know, if you wanted to secure your communications you could purchase a VPN and you connect to the VPN and then you go out to the internet and everything would be encrypted. Alright, better keep moving here. <clears throat> so here's another example we talked about. Um, I said I gave him this address and I asked him what represents the network. Well, it'll be just those two, right? Because it's a slash 16. It's just those two. And then we had this. Um, this network up here, and I asked them how many um, how many networks are there? Well, there's one, two, three WANs. Here's a LAN, a LAN, a LAN, a LAN, and a LAN. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Typically, we wouldn't count the connection to the ISP because the ISP would supply that addressing. But we would have to take care of the addressing on the rest of this. So, we started out and I said, well, if we have this address and we had this many networks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first thing the students said, well, we would have to that eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First thing they said, well, we'd have to borrow here so that we would get eight networks. And that's one, two, three, four, five, eight networks with 30 available addresses. And then I said, well, what happens if we had an address of 60? And that was the max. Well, then they said, you could borrow here. This would get us our 60. And this will give us four networks. Then you could take one of those four networks and subnet it again because networks like this one, this one, and this one only need two addresses. And so we could do variable length subnet masking. So you could address that out. So 
so then this is kind of a view of the whole thing we showed. Basically, I don't have much else to say. We talked a little bit about VPNs and connecting home, you know, in the NIAC and so forth, we have an ISP. So, <clears throat> in general, we're, um, we're looking at a unit test, chapters 7 through 10, <clears throat> and then we're going to continue on and... Uh, the last chapter, build a network, and we get a lot more experience in configuring routers and switches. That's it.